What are the symptoms of allergy to cow's milk? For IgE mediated, again, that's uh, the one that can be very life threatening reactions. So you can have a severe reaction as anaphylaxis, so difficulty breathing, wheezing, uh, severe vomiting, low blood pressure, many different symptoms. But generally, there are symptoms that are going to occur within minutes of eating that food, usually within minutes to 30 minutes, but definitely within two hours of, of ingesting a food with cow's milk in it. Um, and the treatment for that is going to be different than for the non ig mediated, which I'll let you explain. So patients can be treated with uh, antihistamines for mild symptoms, but for any severe an anaphylaxis, they, epinephrine is going to be the treatment of choice with that. So these are ones, again, that in general present pretty acutely. They're not delayed, and they can be severe and life-threatening. Um, there are many symptoms relating to non-IgE mediated cow's milk allergy because it is really a, a, a spectrum of different symptoms and diseases. But the three most well-known presentations of non-IgE mediated cow's milk allergy is proctocolitis, which we see in infants, and normally we will find some blood when we change their diapers. Um, the second type but is... But otherwise they're not very symptomatic, right? Yeah, they're actually really well and, and they grow very well. Um, then the second type is eosinophilic esophagitis. In infants, this normally present with infants that's not growing well. They may have reflux or vomiting, depending on which terminology the physician um, prefers to use. Um, and they're very difficult feeders. So, you know, we struggle during the weaning period to get food into them. Um, as they grow older, the symptoms change over time. So five-year-plus old children often have just constant tummy ache. And then in adults, we find that really the esophagus has narrowed to such an extent that it needs to be dilated. So they um, get food stuck, things like that. They right. get food stuck and they often tell you they're allergic to steak because the steak got it's stuck right. when they were eating. Um, and then the third type is really big word, food protein induced enterocolitis syndrome, which we normally refer to as FPIs. Um, it, not being described in adults, but in children, they present with profuse vomiting about two hours after consuming cow's milk containing food. Um, some children actually stop vomiting by themselves, but uh, a large majority of children will end up in the ER because they became so dehydrated that they went into a hypovolemic shock. Um, an important message is that adrenaline does not work for these kids. Um, to save their lives, they need IV fluid, and we need to restore their fluid balance. And they can get other symptoms sometimes, like diarrhea. It's not always present, but sometimes they also get diarrhea. That can happen, leading to, again, loss of volume and things and needing for replacement with IV fluids. But in that case, they can be serious or life-threatening, but again, it's a different mechanism. It's delayed, and the treatments are very different between FPIs and IgE-mediated reactions.